this is a continuation of the previous video next up we are going to transfer all these uh, amounts to their respective places in the cash flow statement uh, for convenience let's start with the liability side uh, you know with the share capital here share capital there is no change so we don't have to do anything about it I'm just crossing it off my list general reserve the amount goes up means that you would have taken money uh, out of the profit and transferred here so 20,000 to be added back to profit so appropriation reserve 20,000 to be added back then you have so cross this off uh, we have taken this these numbers already then you have creditors creditors are going down during the year this is a working capital item so I'll go to the working capital changes the amount comes out to be 32,000 plus 36 so this is 38,000 is the decrease in creditors this is 68,000 the decrease all right cross it off as well just double checking the numbers this is uh, 32 and 68 makes sense then is provision for tax now we have prepared an account for provision for tax therefore we are not going to consider this but we will go to the account here is provision for tax account and from this account we know that this is the provision created during the year so this is good this will go to operating activities 18,000 to be added back so 18,000 provision for tax 18,000 to be added back because this is not the actual payment now what is the actual payment of tax actual payment of tax is 148,000 so actual payment of tax is 148,000 I write it here and done <clears throat> Then you have mortgage loan, nil to begin with, and then you have raised 540,000. So loan 540 raised goes to financing activities. Uh, proceed from long-term borrowings. So loan, uh, this was 5 lakhs and 40,000. Inflows, because loan is being raised. Let's now go to fixed assets. For fixed assets, we prepared an account. So we're not going to look at these numbers. We will go to the account in the fixed asset account here we have a sale so this is a sale this is an inflow 24,000 so we will add it here sale of fixed asset sale of fixed asset 24,000 is an inflow then you have depreciation during the year this is a non cash uh, expense so we will go to operating activities and add it back depreciation 1 lakh 40,000 depreciation 1 lakh and 40,000 then you have uh, profit on sale 4,000 this profit would have been added to the profit and loss account this is a non operating income so we are not going to include this in the operating profit 4,000 to be deducted. So here you deduct uh, non-operating profit on sale of fixed asset and the amount was 3,000. Let me double check. Amount is 4,000. Amount was 4,000. And done with the uh, fixed asset. There is nothing else to be used from the fixed asset account. Everything has been uh, taken to their respective places. All right, let's go back to our balance sheet Then you have investments for investments. We have an account as well So we will not look at these numbers. We'll go to investment account. There is a sale of investment Which is 17,000 so proceed from sale of investment uh, 17,000 this is an inflow and then you have profit on sale which should which is also non-operating and should not be included in the profit so we will deduct this profit on sale of investment 1000 profit on sale of uh, let me write investments here 1000 not to be included in the uh, profit so profit on sale of investment 
<clears throat> and you have a purchase of investment as well 36,000 this is an outflow and investing outflow 36,000 purchase of investment 36,000 this is an outflow and we are done with the investment account as well everything has been taken to their respective places now let's go back to balance sheet now we have some current assets you have stock stock is going down decrease in current asset is an inflow we have 60,000 stock going down is 60,000 and inflow and then we have uh, debtors debtors are going up by what amount 4 lakhs 90,000 so 4 lakh 90,000 increase in debtors 4 lakhs and 90,000 this is an outflow and then you have bank and this is the we don't use this as the current asset because the purpose of preparing the whole uh, cash flow statement is to explain the reason for changes uh, in the in this balance so ignore this now let me make sure i've not missed anything else uh, investment account has been taken care of provision for tax taken care of uh, during the year fixed assets sold we have used the uh, amounts and we have also taken care of the profit made during the year dividend paid is 80000 so there is a account for dividend here provision for dividend you have provision created this will go to the operating activities provision for dividend here provision for tax provision for dividend here provision for dividend is uh, 40000 8000 sorry 8000 to be added and actual dividend paid is also 8000 which will go to financing activity dividend paid 8000 there you go so from the provision for dividend both these have been both these uh, items have been taken to their respective places so provision for dividend is also done so this is also done other than this we had uh, investment but uh, uh, sale of investment this has been taken care of this has been taken care of done so now we have taken care of all the uh, items all the balances from the uh, balance sheet of the two years and now what we have to do is to do the maths to figure out what are the numbers so the operating profit operating cash profit comes out to be 57000 this is uh, this is an inflow net inflow and now this 56000 can be taken to the next page i am just writing it here you don't have to write it twice and then we can find out the result of the cash flows from operating activities so this uh, comes out to be 441000 and this is a this is an outflow because we have more negative numbers here and then we can figure out the sum for the the total result of the next section and this comes out to be what is this 31 41 41 minus this is 5 5000 and this is net inflow let me just double check 31 41 5 yeah makes sense so this is the cash flow from investing activities and finally we have cash flows resulting from the financing activities and this comes out to be 5 lakhs and 32000 and this is a positive number that's it so we have to now figure out a plus b plus c the net outcome now we have 4 lakh 41000 which is a negative number and we have 5 lakhs and 32 thousand which is a positive number and an additional five thousand so let me make it seven thousand this comes out to be six and you have nine here yeah that's right ninety six thousand is the net result of a plus b plus c and uh, this number is positive uh, you have uh, five lakhs thirty seven thousand which is inflows and four lakh forty one thousand which are outflows now to verify this i'll just bring the opening balance opening bank balance 
and then we'll add to it to figure out if the closing bank balance is equal to what we see in the balance sheet. So the opening bank balance is uh, 2 lakhs and 98 thousand. 2 lakhs 98 thousand and uh, the closing balance comes out to be 3 lakhs and 94 thousand. And if you sum these two, you will see that, uh, uh, so this is uh, 14, 9 and 3, yeah, this works out well. So the balance sheet showed the opening balance to be 298000 and closing balance 394000 which means there was an increase of 96000 in cash balance, in the bank balance during the year. And through this cash flow statement, what we have done is we have explained the reasons for changes in this cash balance. Uh, the change is 96000 and the reasons are, you know, there are three reasons. The first reason is 5,32,000 uh, due to financing activities and inflow. The second reason is 5,000 and inflow coming in from uh, investing activities. And the third reason is 4,41,000 used uh, in the, uh, this is used not from, this is used in the operating activities of the business. So uh, as a whole, the business, this company in this financial year, has uh, lost cash worth 4,41,000 in the operating activities, made 5,000 in the investing activities and raised more money 5,32,000. These three are the reasons for increase of net increase of 96,000 in the bank balance of the company during the year. That is what the cash flow statement tells us. That's it. This, this is how you prepare a cash flow statement.